We got our pistons in there. All that's left is the rest of the stuff. We're gonna start to move pretty quick here now. We have the front and rear main seals to replace, and then we can start bolting stuff back on this thing. The first thing I need to do is remove the old seals from the parts. And this is the part that's gonna kind of be a little bit nerve wracking. I used a screwdriver to basically pound these out. Now, of course, I'm not worried about damaging the old seals, but I don't wanna damage the parts or any of the sealing surfaces so that they don't seal properly. Of course, since this is a BMW, they're not gonna seal properly anyway, so I probably shouldn't be as worried about it as I am, but I use a screwdriver to bang this, and eventually it does come loose. I spend a little bit of time cleaning up the sealing surfaces, and we're gonna take the front main seal out in the same way. We're gonna just use a screwdriver, bang around the edges. We went right from there to the big socket method in a piece of wood. This front one was really in there. It did not wanna come out at all, but eventually we did bang it out. And of course, this makes you really nervous for you know putting the new ones in. So for the front main seal to put it back in, we go from the front and I just use a piece of wood and the hammer and just kind of tap it in until it's totally flush. It takes a little bit of fiddling and a little bit of time, but eventually get it in there. Then we moved on to the rear main seal and I used the old seal and put it on top and just used a hammer to smack it down in there. Eventually we went to the block of wood method and you can see that uh, it kind of gets in there cockeyed a little bit. You just have to make sure that you get it in square and slowly tap it into place. This took a lot longer than I thought it would, of course, because nothing ever goes the way that you expect it to go, but it does have a little lip on it, so you're not going to be able to tap it in there too far. And eventually we do get it tapped all the way in, flush with the surface. As they say, that ain't going nowhere. Whether it's going to actually seal or not, that's another story. So we're gonna mount the rear main seal and it just slides into the back right here. Use a little bit of oil or grease around the wheel to make sure that it slides in there. And once it's in there, test fit, we go ahead and put the actual gasket on there. So let's get to those seals. The rear one's on, no doubt that probably leaks already but we have to assume that's normal for a BMW. Let's get the front of this engine back together. And in the front, I've got to clean this surface for our gasket, make sure it's going to seal properly. We know it won't because it's a BMW, but we're gonna do the best we can to clean this off. So I just use razor blades and some green Scotch-Brite, try to clean it up as best we can, make it look shiny, make it a smooth surface. And after quite a bit of time cleaning this surface up, we finally have it good. So all we need to do is place our crankcase on there with our gaskets. Gaskets on this are kind of fiddly. You just want to make sure that you have them all lined up with the holes, they're where they're supposed to be, all that fun stuff. These are super thin and really easy to tear, but chances are they really aren't going to gasket much anyways, and this is going to leak 10 minutes after we reinstall it in the car. So we're just going to do the best we can. Every single bolt on this chain cover is a different size, as it would seem, so just be aware that that's a thing that's going to happen. And now we're good to go. Now we have the balancer and the pulley assembly and a brand new water pump. Yeah, I know you saw me painting and refinishing the old one in another video. This falls under the category of while you're in there. The new one was like 60 bucks, so why not replace it? Let's get the starter, accessory brackets, and the oil filter housing on there as well. Let's go ahead and put our harmonic balancer on here. First thing we need to do is put this little wheel on. Now this wheel is keyed, so you can't put it on wrong. And the harmonic balancer is also keyed, so it cannot go on wrong either. And I just lightly tap this on with a block of wood and a hammer. Once it's on sufficiently, I can just use the bolt and 
crank it down on there. There are a whole bunch of nuts that hold this on, but again, you can't put it on wrong. And you have to put the belt drive on as well. The same bolts go through there. And then just make sure that you torque these down to the proper specifications. Once you do, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the water pump. It's a simple five or six bolt install here. And we'll move on to our extremely problematic brand new starter. And this thing, I have to use the actual wrench that comes with the BMW in order to be able to fit the end in there because it's really, really thin to get to that location. I mean, changing out this starter while the engine's in the car is pretty much impossible. Ask me how I know. And we're gonna put the water pump pulley on here. And now we've got some brackets for our accessories. In the case of this bracket over here, it holds our alternator and it also holds our power steering pump. Then I'm gonna clean up the mounting surface on our oil filter housing. We've gotta get all that old gasket material off, clean this up as best we can. And once we do that, it's very simple. Four bolts mounts it right up to the car. Torque it down to the proper specifications. Now it's starting to look like a real engine. We got a lot done today for sure. And man, those refinished parts look really good. Now this is a lot of work for an old BMW 733 that's not worth anything. So why do it? The only reason is for the love of cars, and if this moron can figure all this stuff out, I know you can too. So don't be afraid to grab that old beater that you always wanted and make it run again too. And I'll see you in the next one.